So how do we evaluate the performance of a self-supervised learning models? Because we don't have any labels, right? So at least when we are like doing this kind of a pre-training, what we do is we get the true labels of all the images, say from the emission data set, and we actually learn a linear classifier over the representation that the encoder produces. However, uh, we stop the gradients of this uh, linear layer from propagating backwards into the encoder so that the encoder does not learn anything from the supervised uh, labels that you have. So that evaluation protocol is basically in simpler, it's also online. What that means is you do that evaluation while you're training the model and the authors have claimed that it's not much different than if you would do an evaluation after the model has converged. So yeah, you can do the, this online with the same optimizer as the pre-training uh, method. But if you do prefer to do this offline, like after the convergence, you just use the authors in the paper use an extra momentum optimizer uh, and train this linear layer over H for 90 epochs with a learning rate of 1.6. So and to be very to be very clear, while you're training on supervised, you take the output of the encoder and then you detach it so that you're not going to have any gradients flowing back into that encoder. Yeah. And then you run that through a single layer MLP. I believe it has a real activation as well. And then you are going to use that. And that MLP is tiny. I, I mean, generally it's about 1024. I don't know how many units they use here, but the whole point is that you're using that to map to the number of classes that you're trying to classify or whatever task you're doing. And you, you don't want to use a super powerful network there because you want to measure how well that encoder is building the representations, right? And yeah. so if your representations are really good, a small MLP at the end should do just as well. If your encoder is really bad and your representations are not great, you need a very powerful network, which at that point might as well just be supervised learning. This is a standard protocol that you use in anything contrastive learning self-supervised as well. Yeah. And I would just say uh, it doesn't have a ReLU because it's just like a single linear layer. So the outputs directly go into the softmax for the cl uh, supervised classification. And what that basically does or measure is the linear separability of the representations from your pre-trained encoder. So if a single layer of, uh, yeah, a single layer can only draw lines in space. It cannot have basically curved decision boundaries. So it's literally measuring the linear separability of your representations. Yeah, which, yeah, that, and that's, that's great. And I think there are, there's like a broader conversation about representations, right? Like is linear separability, it is something that we care about, but does that translate to, you know, um, in painting, does that translate to segmentation? Does that translate to like object detection, right? So that's still an open question today.